Psalm 133 How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life for evermore. Psalm 134 Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who is the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 135 Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord, you who minister in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, for that is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob to be his own, Israel to be his treasured possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all their depths. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of people and animals. He sent his signs and wonders into your midst, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck down many nations and killed mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to his people, Israel. Your name, Lord, endures forever. Your renown, Lord, through all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, nor is there breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, praise the Lord. House of Aaron, praise the Lord. House of Levi, praise the Lord. You who fear him, praise the Lord. Praise be to the Lord from Zion, to him who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 24 Saying 20 Do not envy the wicked, do not desire their company, for their hearts plot violence and their lips talk about making trouble. Saying 21 By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Saying 22 The wise prevail through great power, and those who have knowledge muster their strength. Surely you need guidance to wage war, and victory is won through many advisers. Saying 23 Wisdom is too high for fools. In the assembly at the gate they must not open their mouths. Saying 24 Whoever plots evil will be known as a schemer. The schemes of folly are sin, and people detest a mocker. Saying 25 if you falter in a time of trouble, how small is your strength? Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay everyone according to what they have done? Saying 26 
Eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Saying 27 Do not lurk like a thief near the house of the righteous. Do not plunder their dwelling place. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Saying 28 Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice. Or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from them. Saying 29 Do not fret because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked. For the evildoer has no future hope, and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. Saying 30 Fear the Lord and the King, my son, and do not join with rebellious officials. For those two will send sudden destruction on them, and who knows what calamities they can bring. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty, and rich blessing will come on them. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Do not testify against your neighbor without cause. Would you use your lips to mislead? Do not say, I'll do to them as they have done to me. I'll pay them back for what they did. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere, the ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man.